Uh, the first problem I'm going to give you, I'm going to tell you we're looking at water and we're going to have, um, let's say we have 52 grams of water and it's in liquid form and I want to know um, the Q of vaporization, okay? And if you want the constant it's right here 40.67 kilojoules per mole so what we're calculating is the enthalpy for this block right here okay so if it's flat we use change in n so what we have to do basically is find the molar mass of h2o and then divide that by the uh, grams they give you to find the moles and times that times the change in and that's how you get your answer, right? Perfect. I couldn't have said it better myself. Mm. You are too good. Thank you, thank you. Alright. So, so what the young lady said was to plug into this formula. If you come up there on Monday, I'll have a final exam review sheet that you can work on that the uh, department used to give out as an it used to be an old final okay so if we take 40.67 kilojoules per mole and we multiply it by that 2.8 and all you did there was take the 52 grams of H2O and then use your Molar, molar mass of eight, eight, 18 eight, grams, six, right? 2.88. Good. Okay. And then one mole okay. of H2O gave you this number I'm writing in here. 117.39. So this is moles of H2O. And the moles cancel, leaving us just joules or kilojoules which is what we want for heat or enthalpy.